everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all really well. Um, so the weather has been getting a little bit warmer in the UK anyway. It's not quite as arctic outside. Um, so today I wanted to show you some of my favourite transitional outfits. So these outfits are perfect for that weather where it's, it's kind of warm enough for bare legs but you still need a lightweight coat or a jacket. Also, most of the pieces I'm going to be showing you are kind of those classic pieces that even if you purchase them now, they will last you for the years to come as well. Some of the pieces I'm showing you are new, but some of them are also from previous collections. So if they are sold out or not available anymore, I will link some alternatives in the description box below. Do also follow me on Instagram at Louise's Diary for more fashion inspiration. And I will show you the first look. So this is my first look. I am loving neutrals at the moment. I just feel like you can't go wrong with them and they work all year round. And I love this color combination. So the top I'm wearing is from Revolve. It's a little turtle neck, such a gorgeous mocha brown color and the ruched shoulders are just to die for. Um, it also feels really good quality, it's really soft. You can see the fabric here is slightly ribbed um, and I got this in a size extra small. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than your standard high street jumper but it does feel really thick and good quality and I know that this is going to last me for a few years. So I've tucked this into my little Storette's white pleated skirt. It's kind of a knitted fabric um, and it's quite stretchy. I have been loving pleated skirts through summer and winter and I will still love them when spring and summer come next. It's such a gorgeous shape, it fits high-waisted and it has a very slight A-line. Um, the pleats are very soft, so it's kind of like a mixture between an a skate skirt and a pleated skirt. I know that stock was running quite low on this skirt so I will link some similar versions. There are so many really cute pleated white tennis style mini skirts available at the moment so you definitely will be able to get your hands on one of them. Skirts like this are perfect in spring as well because you can tuck them into knits like I've done here but also perfect for summer because you can wear them with really cute strappy little tops as well. I paired this outfit with my Chloe bag and also these nude boots. These are from ASOS. They were such a bargain. They were, I think they're definitely under £50. I will link them. But they are not leather, so they're a really good vegan option. So even though they have kind of a thin stiletto heel, they are actually reasonably easy to walk in. I mean, I won't be walking far in them, but they are actually pretty comfortable. I've been wearing these with quite a few of my outfits. They are just such a perfect spring boot. I feel like if you were to buy these, you'd probably be like me and literally wear them with everything. So I've also just paired this with my Javona coat just to show you the look with a coat on, because obviously it is still pretty cold outside. Um, I love this coat. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have definitely seen this before. It is the perfect transitional spring coat. You'll see it isn't lined, um, so it is perfect for when you are after a more of a lightweight option. And the sleeves are just such a gorgeous detail. It is a wrap style um, and it is reasonably oversized. I got this in a size extra, extra small. It's a little bit more expensive than your standard high street coat, but it really is worth it. It looks really high end and it, it does give me kind of the Max Mara vibes. And of course it is a classic. You will love this for years to come. My next outfit has more neutrals. I am obsessed with this outfit. This is definitely one of my favourites. I love this colour palette together and I'm also wearing the same boots as before. So this outfit is full revolve. Um, this top is a little bardo top. So pretty. I love the colour. It's, it's kind of a mocha shade but a bit lighter than the other one and there is a bardo neck on here. Um, it's perfect top to have in the wardrobe because it instantly dresses up an outfit. If you were to just pair this with jeans, it instantly looks a lot more dressy than just a plain jumper. 
I also think a little bit of shoulder cleavage <laughs> is like a really good date night top as well. I got this in a size extra small. I would say it's kind of like a UK size six. Um, it is quite fitted and the fabric is ribbed. Um, it is a lot more lightweight than the other jumper, so this is good for spring as well. So the next thing I wanted to show you was this skirt, and I am obsessed with this skirt. We all know I love a midi with a slit, and oh my god, I just had to have this. What I love most about this is it's knitted, which means it is a lot more versatile than your average midi um, white skirt, because you can wear it in different seasons. And you can also dress it up and down. So in spring, you could wear it with a knitted long sleeve top and some knee height boots like I have, or you could also wear it in summer as well with a pair of sandals. It's a really versatile piece. I just love it. <laughs> um, and you can see it fits quite high waisted and it is reasonably tight fitting, but I'd say it is pretty flattering. But yeah, I am obsessed with this outfit. I literally cannot wait to wear this out. I think this would look so fab for going out for dinner or for drinks. I just cannot wait to wear this. So this might be one of the cutest sets I've ever seen. I love the colour. There's going to be lilacs everywhere this season. So it is also very on trend. I will also mention that for Women's Day, River Island is going to contribute two pounds for each one of these pieces sold. So that's a nice little bonus. It's so girly and so chic. So I got both of these pieces in a size six. I'm really happy with the way the jacket fits. I think I would probably size up in the shorts. Um, they are just about all right, but I think I'd prefer them if they had a little bit more room in there, just because I feel like if I was to eat something, I'd feel quite constricted. <laughs> I think they would look super cute on their own as well as together. This jacket is so perfect for spring weather because it just gives you that little bit extra warmth. You can pair it with little dresses. It looks so cute with white dresses or white skirts. Um, so yeah, I definitely, definitely know I will get so much wear out of this jacket. And also, of course, the shorts are super cute. You could pair them with little strappy tops in summer as well. And the button and the pocket details on the front are really cute and it makes it look quite a bit more expensive. If you see the fabric a little bit closer here, you'll see that it does have a very slight metallic kind of thread running through it. I have paired this with a little white knit underneath and also some white ankle boots. These are from River Island, but they are quite old, so I will link some similar alternatives. I do think white ankle boots in spring are such an essential. I find I wear them all the time. But yeah, I think this outfit is just the cutest. I love the jacket. I love the boxy style to it. And I also really love the pocket details on there. It kind of gives it a bit more of a utility vibe, it makes it a little bit cooler than your standard tweed jacket. And I also love the frayed edge, which goes all the way round and also on the sleeves as well. My top that I'm wearing underneath is also super cute, so I thought I would show you this. So this, again, has more puffed shoulders and a little frill sleeve, and the back is so pretty. There is a little bow tie at the top there, and it has a low open back, and again, more kind of elevated knitwear. Perfect if you want to be comfy, but also a little bit glam at the same time. So another tweed outfit that I wanted to show you, you may have seen this little pinafore in my Zara haul, but this time I've paired it with a little white turtleneck underneath. So as well as lilac, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of blue and I'm not complaining because I love blue. I won't talk too much about this play suit just because I have shown it to you in my Zara haul, um, but I got this in a size extra small. I also have the matching blue jacket, which is super cute, but another really versatile piece. And I do think this piece is pretty good value. It was $29.99. And I have also paired this with my little white boots. 
So I'm not sure if this outfit could be any more me. It is so cute. Um, my friend Yasmin Robert, um, she is also on Instagram, um, she sent me a link to this dress. Um, it is such a good dupe of a, a Chanel cardigan which was on the catwalks back in the 90s. Um, and it is so cute. It's such a gorgeous pink colour and a really lovely black button details and um, also a pocket here well it's not a pocket but pretend pocket and also the black trim here and also the ribbed sleeves kind of make it look a little bit more expensive than what it is. River Island are doing some amazing Chanel vintage vibe pieces. This is a really lovely length. It's not too short. It still looks really nice with heels. I paired it with some black knee high boots just to go with the black details on this. It's a reasonably oversized fit. I got this in a size six, but there is still quite a lot of material here. Um, so I would suggest sizing down but it has a little tie here, which is really flattering. It kind of brings everything in on the waist. But yeah, this is another elevated knitwear piece. It's comfy, it's cozy, but it's also glam. I mean, you really cannot beat it. This was 55 pounds, but I do think it's worth it. It is quite thick and it's also really soft. And I'm sure it is thousands of pounds cheaper than the Chanel version. <laughs> You could also pair this with black tights as well on cooler days. And when it's warmer, you could wear it with a pair of black sandals. So next outfit, I guess, is for kind of warmer weather as I don't have long sleeves on, but you could pair this with a coat and like a camel coat would look really lovely with this outfit. Um, so this outfit is from Karen Millen. You may have seen it on my Instagram feed. Again, we have more kind of creams and browns. You can tell I'm a little bit obsessed with them at the moment. I love this mini skirt. It is a faux leather see there's some quilted detail at the top here and there's also a silver zip and some um zip detail there as well it is an a-line fit and i really like it because it isn't too short so you can kind of comfortably wear it with heels it is faux leather but i don't think you would ever know it is really good quality it does not look plasticky at all it literally it could be leather it's really beautifully made and i've also paired it with this little cream top also from karen millen i love the v-neck and the collar on there and the pattern on there is really lovely it's kind of ribbed but kind of a wobbly rib <laughs> um but this is so nice it kind of has three quarter sleeves um so perfect for spring so I've paired this look with brown accessories, um, including my brown H&M boots. Um, you guys will have definitely seen these before. I have worn these so, so much and they have them in black. They do come in and out of stock, so do keep checking the link. I will put it below. I think this is a really chic, smart outfit. I also think if you're gonna be in the office, probably not anytime soon, but at some point, it's actually a really good um, look because the skirt isn't too short. Both of these pieces I got in a size six. I do find that Cara Millen comes up slightly bigger, so I would size down. So next thing I wanted to show you was this beautiful white midi dress. This is from Storettes. This is a ribbed knitted fabric. I think it's making the camera go a little bit funny. Um, and the sleeves are slightly kind of flared, which is a really lovely detail. I'll also show you the neckline because it is so pretty. It's a sweetheart neckline, um, but it's also a really wide neckline. Um, so it kind of just sits on the top of the shoulders there which is really elegant and pretty. So unlike a lot of my other midi dresses, this one doesn't have a slit in it, um, but I think because it has this kind of quite low wide neckline, I feel like a slit might be a little bit too much. It's reasonably tight fitting. I'll show you 
the back of it here so this is a size small to medium i'd say because it is quite stretchy it would fit quite a lot of people probably a uk size 6 to 10. the neckline kind of makes it look quite a bit more high end than what it is it's super flattering and i also think it's really elegant i paired it with some taupe kind of ankle boots and um, these are going in and out of stock so i will link some similar pairs as well and also my chloe beige handbag so again because this is more kind of elevated knitwear it is really versatile so i would pair it with boots if i was just gonna pop to the pub this is obviously after lockdown um or if you're going out for like a nice fancy dinner or for drinks then you could also pair it with some heels or some sandals so that is all the transitional outfits I'm going to show you today. I really hope you got lots of fashion inspiration. I will link everything down below and if anything is sold out then I will link some similar pieces. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video and have a lovely day.